What's up? Y'all, man, it's your boy, Quizzy. Look, bro, today we gotta talk about some stuff, man. I got my kids with me. I got my son in the background. I got my daughter right there. If y'all hear a, a little screaming in the background, those just my kids, don't be alone. Real life and what, see what I mean? What's real life and what's fake? Things that we see on YouTube, we think, oh man, that's real life. That happened for real. That must have really happened. They're a YouTuber, that must have really happened. You know, one thing that I learned is a lot of YouTubers make entertainment content. What I say is fake content, entertainment. What that means is the pranks that y'all might think is real sometimes might be fake. The um Because it's, it's like acting, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, like the situations that y'all might think, you're like, oh bro, I can't believe that happened to him. It didn't even really happen to him. Or there was a different narrative painted within the editing that just makes it look different. We have a mother who painted a narrative for us, right? The narrative that she painted was that their family dog passed away or is, or is very sick, one or the other, all right? And the problem was, she made a vlog about it. Now that's not the problem. No, that, that's not the problem, excuse me. The problem was she forced her son to make a thumbnail instead of letting him grieve over his dog being sick, all right? That was the problem. It's not the problem that she made a vlog. It's not the problem that she just wanted to say, hey, look, let me pose for a thumbnail. That's not really the problem. It's that she forced her son when he's in a time of grieving to straight do this and just like didn't give a fuck about it. So when you decide to do YouTube, TikTok, OnlyFans, really any sort of content creation, you have some important decisions to make once you start gaining some traction and creating a career for yourself. And to me, one of the biggest questions you have to ask yourself early on is how much you will allow your audience to see behind the curtain into your <laughs> personal life. Recently with H3H3 and Trisha Paytas, we've seen family drama unfold in front of millions of eyes, with Ethan quite literally enabling his parents to get involved in the online drama sphere. But that's another topic for another day. I just really thought it was a great illustration of the possible dangers when it comes to sharing your platform with your friends and family, allowing the audience to get to know you on a much more personal level. We've actually seen- That's facts, bro. You really gotta watch what you do and what you say because you know, man, people will take that shit to heart. People forget that you're human as well. Like people forget that you're human and you have comments that you want to make, and um, and and they for and they don't let you forget it. And also the last thing is they don't let you just be wrong. Like they don't let you be wrong and then change them, your your yourself. You know some things are unforgivable, but some things is like damn. You know as a person that you're growing, but you like you can't put too much business out there on on, on social media. You know. Examples over the years how this family vlogging type of content does not result in positive outcomes. Look at someone like Shay Carl, who early on was one of the first people to really hit it huge on YouTube with his everyday vlogs that featured his wife and kids. And while they made a lot of money at that time, it led to eventual exposing when this man Shay had a little bit too much to drink and went into full on demon mode online with some absolutely disgusting messages being sent to an Instagram model, alluding to the idea that he was prepared to cheat on his beautiful wife the mother of the same kids he stuck in front of a camera to make a living. So needless to say, in my opinion... Well, we don't really know what happened in their relationship to really just say that, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say that, you know, like I said, you know how I said when some things for the camera be for the camera, some things don't actually be like real life you know what I'm i think that if your family is not trying to be an online personality as well you really should for the most part keep them out of your content and last week we saw yet another example of why this is so true there's this woman out there named jordan cheyenne who has been vlogging on youtube for the uh. last Nasty face ass, you could tell she old as fuck. Last eight years. She's a single mom who has obviously had to- 
Okay, she looks a little bit better right here, though. To make her son a big part of her channel and social media empire. This is quite literally what she does for a living. And last Wednesday, she posted a vlog where she explained that their new puppy had been diagnosed with parovirus, which is a condition common in unvaccinated dogs that can actually be fatal. I'm sure she knew this would be great content for her lifestyle vlog channel, and so she really decided to ham it up for the camera, and more importantly, for that thumbnail. Forcing her nine-year-old son to cry harder and harder, also she could get that good clickbait. The only problem was that the idiot forgot to edit her forcing him to cry harder and harder out of the vlog, and so her whole audience has now seen this footage. <laughs> See, she cut him, she even cut him off. He trying to tell her something, no, 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 but, but go like this. Like, you see you see what I'm saying? Like, that's that's disgusting, that's nasty. It's nasty, it's, it's nasty, bro. It's nasty because it's like, it's like that's all you care about? Like, you real like, I get it, man. I get the fact that when you wanna make it on YouTube or when you wanna be the best or something, Sometimes you're willing to make sacrifices and certain sacrifices, but you know what? I'm I learned You can't sacrifice your family your kids For an online world of people who who it all can be gone in a second bro Like if YouTube stop Uploading videos if YouTube stop allowing people to upload videos That's it. That's it. That's it. That's that's it if YouTube said, I'm going to shut down tomorrow, that's it. Your child is going to remember that. He's going to remember that. Or this whole turmoil that's going around this video post, he's going to see this one day and realize, damn, my mama ain't shit. For the video. Go like this, put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. That's so, cr that's cringe. And I don't even say that. That shit is cringe. Like this. But let them see your mouth. Does she slap his head like, come on, look at me, hey, hey, look, hey, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Oh my God, ugh, you're a fucking Karen, bitch. You dusty bitch. Do you really don't care. Think you do not care at all. What's disgusting part to me is it proves how ungenuine this woman really is. Right. She went from that fake crying, being fake sad, to all of a sudden being like, okay, let's get into thumbnail mode, little Jimmy. Proving that her emotions were bullshit. We appreciate it. And this is what happens when the lines between real life and online content creation start to get crossed. Damn. This kid is obviously devastated about his new puppy being sick. He's had an extremely long day, and the first thing she thinks to do is pull out a camera and stick it in his face with demands. Like, why didn't you just do it by yourself if you wanted to do it? Like, you could do it. Like, you could post a picture of him if you wanted to, but... Why would you force him like you don't even have you didn't even have to do that you just can't tell me that's good for the psyche of a nine-year-old and as a parent you're supposed to protect your kids not show them in their most vulnerable moments to the entire world and because of that i think this really wasn't just a lapse in judgment i really do believe this is who this woman is a cloud demon who would do anything for that click and of course after receiving backlash she was quick with the backpedaling releasing of more course. than four apologies across social media saying how disgusted she was with herself and taking the original video down but th but people will forget about it she'll be back on within a year back doing the same old fake shit bro like 
Pe people will forget about that shit. That was far too late. The damage had already been done, and her audience now saw her as nothing more than a fraud, living an inauthentic life online. And like I said, she had a few apologies that were really all just terrible excuses, but this one has to be my favorite. It's learn and grow and make amazing decisions in the future for myself and the well-being of Christian. So that is why my DMs are off for today. What? I want to say and I don't want to fucking come on here crying or act like I want sympathy or anything. I don't want any of that. Then why are you coming on there crying? Like, why are you crying then? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want any of that, why don't you get yourself together and then be like, hey, y'all, my bad. Like, you weren't even, you're not even genuine. I'm so disappointed in myself. Oh. Uh -huh. And... I have never been this upset with myself or really? disappointed or had this much anxiety over people messaging me oh. death threats and things about Christian that are so past the level of... Well, bitch, why don't you close your fridge, okay? Your fucking cheese is spoiling in there, man. Close the fucking fridge. Cyberbullying and harassment than I've ever experienced in my life. I'm taking the day, two days, three days, whatever, off social media to prioritize myself and Christian. I fucked up so fucking bad and I'm so upset with myself. You upset that you got caught. You upset that people saw that shit and was like, ugh. Like, cause if we saw that shit and we were like, oh my God, that was so hilarious. You're teaching him how to be a YouTuber. Then she would have been like, right. That's what I wanted to do in the beginning. But just seeing how she looks right now, that is a person who regrets getting caught and I am being in, as hard as possible on myself and dealing with this in private and that is why my comments are off for the extreme bullying and harassment and me being worried at this current moment for yeah. my and Christian's safety so that's why the comments are off yeah whatever you Lindsay Lohan built bitch to be honest I can see why people didn't buy this apology or those crocodile tears Nothing says genuine like throwing a baby filter over your crying face, right? And she's not sad that she did this, she's sad that she finally got caught. You know, she finally got caught with that hand in the cookie jar and she didn't like that. And the worst part about all of this is that she got her kid wrapped up in all of this mess. I mean, to me, this makes the whole thing about 10 times worse. And it's pretty crazy, but it really does seem like this could actually be the end of her almost decade-long career online an audience who really loved and respected what she was doing i don't know if it's the end because she definitely can save her career like because people are going to want to the people are going to have a void that they need to be filled with her content so i definitely think she still has a career but you know like a lot of people are going to be like she's a fake ass b-i-t-c-h is now her YouTube page appears to have been deleted as well as her Instagram and other social media pages. So I don't know guys, I think this is really just the consequence of when you put too much of your life out there online. Like I said, we've seen this happen to countless families and this should really be a lesson to you all that once you kind of start gaining some traction, you do have those types of decisions to make. But let me know what you guys think down below. Should she never return to face the internet again? Do you think she just had some sort of lapse in judgment? and was going a little bit too hard with the content creation thing i want to know down below in the comments as always i also want to thank you guys for watching hey man look bro at the end of the day to close that shit out she knew good and well what she was doing she knew good and well i don't understand how you don't proofread i mean it's proofread let's like proofread i don't know how you don't check your video before you post it like, i understand the russian but some things is like like, how did you rush that one? Like, how did you miss that? How did you miss that one? I don't know, man. Like, I feel like that was her, like, subconsciously just, like, fucking up on purpose because she knew. She knew that she needed to, she needed to switch up some shit. She need a break. Like, when you start, like, wanting content that bad, like, the sad part about it was the dog got sick. But she could have ended that whole shit with just like, hey, look, the dog got sick. My son said, I'm, I'm, I'm sad for him. She wasn't even sad for him. Like she couldn't even fake that. She couldn't even just say, hey, look, I'm sad for him. Which that would have been more believable. She, eh, <laughs> now I want you to open your mouth. Okay, open your mouth. 
Open your mouth. Like, why, why did you slap him in the back of his head and tell him to open his mouth when he cried? He's talking about, I am crying. Nigga, what the fuck is you talking about? He didn't want to call her a bitch, but I will. She's a bitch. That was a bitch move. But that's just my opinion. Look at my baby. That's just my opinion. So let me know what y'all think. Go down in the comments and let me know. Maybe I'm tripping. If you think that I'm tripping, let me know. If you think that she's tripping, let me know, man. But guess what, man? Check out my boy Jabari, man, because he makes some good videos, man. And I'll be definitely doing more reactions to his videos, man. Y'all be safe. Peace.